computer. Okay, so we'll start the recording. Um, okay, hello everyone. Everyone, Welcome to our big picture call. Uh, it's great to see people from all over the world. If you are new to Zoom, and if you are on a PC or a, a laptop, you can take your cursor to the top right of the screen. There's a little icon that looks like a checkerboard. If you click on that icon, then you'll be able to see the gallery view, which means you can see up to 25 participants at the same time. And if you click on that um, icon again, then you'll see the speaker view. So whoever is speaking should be in the biggest video box for that. Okay, um, so that's that. Just wait one second while I check something out here. Just wanna see, 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 see. Okay, that looks good. Okay, all right, so I'm gonna start by uh, bringing up my PowerPoints here. I'm actually in the mountains, um, so I hope that my internet connection stays good. If not, someone else will have to take over. But anyway, um, let me introduce myself. My name is Trish Schwenkler, and uh, my husband Bob and I are Presidential Diamonds with ASEA. We've been uh, with uh, in network marketing for 23 years, and we've been with ASEA for about seven and a half years. So we've been teaching people about health and wellness for a very long time. I'd like to welcome you to the big picture call today. Of course, we hold this call every single week on Tuesday night for Europeans. Um, the, the reason that we have the big picture call is so that every week we can believe, belong, and become together in our ASEA businesses. I always like to bring to mind our ASEA mission, which is to better people's lives and to be a force for good in the world, as well as our ASEA vision. Let me move these pictures. Maybe I should actually do this. I think I will do that. Then you should only be able to see whoever's speaking. I don't quite know why the speaker isn't showing up on that box, but we won't worry about it. Okay, so our ASEA mission, as well as our ASEA vision, which is to become the recognized global leader in cellular-based. Whoops, I didn't mean for that to happen. Let's go back. Here we go, nope. Just bear with me, we're gonna get there. Okay. Believe, belong, become. RSEA mission, better people's lives and be a force for good in the world. RSEA vision, which is to become the recognized global leader in cellular health and redox-based technologies and achieve worldwide distribution of ASEA's life-changing products, financial opportunity, and culture. So we're all very grateful to be part of ASEA, where we truly can make a living while making a difference. So every time that I host this call, I like to begin the call by hearing how lives are being changed by ASEA's redox signaling technology. After all, products move people in this business. And so today, you are gonna hear from some amazing people. Uh, you are gonna hear from, let me just get rid of this picture too, I think, that's what I'm gonna do. Okay, um, you are gonna hear from some amazing people from the United States. They live in California, Jill Blanchard and Jerry Barnes. Um, they are part of Chris Gullo's organization. And Jill has been a personal trainer for 40 years. She began teaching karate classes at age 15. She's been teaching classes all of her life in aerobics, etc. And she became a certified fitness trainer in 2001. And Jerry is her partner and he has been a weightlifter for the past 20 years. So they're driving in a car right now, but I actually was fortunate to meet Jerry and Jill at an ASEA event that I did last Saturday in California. So Jerry and Jill, I'd love to hand it over to you and you can share with the listeners why you chose ASEA, products, culture, opportunity, whatever it is that you'd like to share. Perfect. Well, thank you, Trish. Um, 
Boy, we, we had such amazing event last Saturday. It was so wonderful to meet you. We just wanted to say that first and foremost because that was an absolutely incredible event. The reason why we chose ASEA, myself personally, being in the health industry my whole life and coaching people on nutrition and staying healthy all these years, something like making your cells actually send out signals to heal itself again you can't do that with any supplement. You cannot do that with any food. So this is a beautiful product, and I'm happy to support it. Absolutely wonderful. So um, thank you very much for that, Jill. So Jerry, can you share with us some of the benefits that you received from ASEA in a very short period of time and why you chose ASEA? Yes, I, I am a product-driven individual. I, am, I had a breathing challenge. I had a severe cellular challenge and I thought that this would be the best opportunity that I could use to help my body do what it needs to do on its own. Uh, being a bodybuilder, recovery time from sore muscles, uh, anxiety issues, ASEA has helped to eliminate the sore muscles, helped to bring in that mental acuity that allowed me to function without stressing over how I looked, perfectly. So thank you, and this is the best and only thing that I've found that actually replenishes the body the way that I need it to. Absolutely. So that's it. Absolutely beautiful. Thank you very much. So the two of you are uh, definitely falling in love with the products after only a few short weeks, and you have made a decision to dedicate your time and energy to building an ASEA business and letting the world know about the ASEA lifestyle as well. Is that right? Absolutely. Definitely. Okay. So would you like to say a little bit more about that or anything about ASEA before we let you go here, Jill and Jerry? My, my, in closing, the best choice you can make, the thing about being a human being is to choose to be. You have to choose. There's nothing that you go through in a day that does not require you to make a choice. Exactly. The freedom to be healthy, the freedom to enjoy life, the two things that you have to concern yourself with is what's my need? You know, is it economic or is it health? You choose and then that's the one you pursue first. A CS satisfies both of those for you perfectly. So that's where I want to leave you with that. So we look forward to seeing you and it's a pleasure. Beautiful. Beautiful closing words. Thank you very much, Jerry. And thank you very much, Jill, for joining us today. Welcome to our CF family. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Well, as always, oh, disregard what's at the top of the screen here. That's from an old, uh, another call that we did. But as always, we need to make a legal disclaimer that wellness products are not intended to diagnose, treat, cure, or prevent any disease or medical condition. But what redox molecules do, as Jerry and Jill so eloquently stated, is they simply empower the body to heal itself. Okay, we are now going to recognize certified superstars from around the world, those people who advance in rank in the week of, uh, in the ASEA week 23. And we're gonna recognize everyone in Chris Gullo's organization and the diamonds within his organization, Diamonds and Above, Odman Berger, Cecil Anderson, Yoko Saarinen from Finland and Morten Dam from Denmark. Cecil is from Norway. Odman now living in Spain with his beautiful wife, Angelica. So I'm going to read the English names. Um, Reini, I'm wondering if you could unmute your microphone and if you could read the European names, that would be very helpful. So congratulations to last week's new Director 700s, Big Sky Vitality, Martha Devira, uh, both in Susanna Pat Truax's organization. Congratulations to them as well. We'd also like to congratulate new Director 300s, Blue Bayou Health and Wellness, Vicki Hyde, and then I'll hand it over to you, uh, Reini, to read the European names. Yeah, Janine Tuinman, and then Claude Eichelbrenner, Ed Bjork Mikkelsen, Anja Nikolaisen, Hege Nordahl, Annette Filbert. Okay, fantastic. And then our new directors also are all from Europe. So I'll hand that over to you, Reini. 
Tessa Roche, Ott Helge Nielsen, Christoph Schuber und Grayson Apple. I do also not know all the names because some are East European and that's also for us a little bit strange sometimes to yeah. pronounce, but congratulations to all of them. Absolutely. So congratulations to all new rank advancements as well as your sponsors, as well as your upline diamonds. The journey of a thousand miles begins with a single step. And at one time we were all new directors, new director 300s and new director 700s. And the lifeblood of our business is to continually do everything that we can to support our new people to advance in rank. So big congratulations. Also, uh, many of us will be heading out on the first annual ASEA Ascent Cruise from Miami uh, this weekend. Uh, for those of you who aren't joining us, I know some of you chose to attend the convention instead, but this cruise will be an annual event where bronzes, silvers, golds, and, exec and platinum executives can earn a cruise every single year. Next year, the cruise will be in the springtime rather than in June, so now is the time to start focusing on hitting the ranks of bronze, silver, gold, and platinum consistently so that you can not only earn the cruise, but earn airfare credits as well. Uh, so just a reminder, I'm sure most of you know that our global convention is coming up in Salt Lake City at the end of September. If you have not yet registered, you can go to aseaglobal.com and you can register for that fabulous event where we are going to be touring the new ASEA executive offices, touring the production facility, having a lot of fun and learning a lot of great information to help us all move our businesses forward and fulfill our mission and our vision. Okay, so now we are going to hear from some awesome guest speakers today. You are gonna hear from Rainey Beaverdam. She is an ASEA Platinum Executive, and we also want to give a lot of thanks to her husband, Rob, who is a huge behind the scenes support for their ASEA business. Looking forward to seeing you on the cruise in a few days, Rainey and Rob. We are also gonna hear today from Lisbeth Hogerborst, who is a gold executive uh, currently living in Holland, as well as Bilka De De Verk, a bronze executive from Holland. And the subject of our teaching today is going to be mastermind groups. So before I introduce Reini and Vilka and Lisbeth, uh, Napoleon Hill says that no two minds ever come together without thereby creating a third invisible force, which may be likened to a third mind. Of course, Napoleon Hill wrote Think and Grow Rich, and he is a great writer and speaker in the area of creating abundance in your life. So in the mastermind, one plus one doesn't just equal two, one plus one equals three. So it, uh, a mastermind can definitely empower you um, so, Rainey, we discussed this earlier today, and I'm sorry the video is not showing up. I probably so, but we'll just look at the slides, and um, maybe if you can share some of the purposes of the mastermind group that I have put on this um, slide here, either you or Lise, but there, whoever you think is appropriate, Rainey. Yes, I can start um, that it's absolutely important to have a plan before you start a mastermind group. So you know you're working on your plan and to have a short time goal and to have a long term goal. That's what we all did before we started our uh, mastermind. And for me, uh, it's, it's very important to have my own goals, but it's also important to get the plans and the goals of my team so I can help them more. And um, maybe we'll, we'll be going a little bit more into the, uh, how to set, help people set their goals. I think what I want to say here, Reini, is the purposes of the mastermind uh, and, and what you're tr what you're working to create is to create group synergy. Um, yes. Achieve goals together. Yeah. Okay. So then we'll 
we'll go into the steps that you use when creating your masterminds that are working so well. Um, and we're, we're going to talk about some of the results that you have uh, created. We, I don't hear you anymore, Tris. Okay, go, just go ahead and t talk. Yes, what, what we decided as a group, Lisbeth and I really were talking in the first week of January and uh, we both did more masterminds in the past and we said we really would like to set up a mastermind with our team and we want directors 700 and above who really want to do the business, who want to focus, who have a plan to get together to set a goal for the for, uh, first four months of the year because that was the contest for the cruise and we said uh, the uh, rules for the cruise are the same we have to do anyway so we have to talk to people we have to do our ABC so let's go this and do this together so in January we started really with uh, 10 uh, people from our team 700 and above uh, the mastermind and yes before that it's it's nice what you show you really learn to focus let go of all the other things but really want to focus and uh, yeah we, we found really the people who want to go with us it, it was the wish of Lisbeth uh, and me really to get people uh, together and to work together to grow together okay so you can you hear me now Rainy? yes Okay, so you chose from your team the first mastermind that you were going to work with Director 700s, and there were 10 of you that started your first mastermind, right? Yes. And so what you did was you set a four-month time frame. Is that right? Yes, that's right. So tell I us. Think, in, yeah. yeah. Maybe, maybe Lisbeth is, is the one who can really talk about this because in the beginning she really took care of all the basic steps so all of us all 10 knew what to do so you can really really focus and uh, have the best benefit of the time we spend together so Lisbeth maybe you can tell a little bit about setting the time frame yeah I'll be glad to hi everyone and hi Trish great to see you all and yes it was a four month time frame and um uh, one of the, the things that is, or so many things are important when you plan your work and work your plan is that you really uh, come on a deeper level into yourself because, you know, to adapt, uh, no, to adopt your own plan is quite a process, is my experience as well. So the structure of, of this being together in, in this kind of sacred space where you where you share what you find is difficult what do i need uh, that didn't go so well how shall i do it next week that type of thing and that combined with um, um really structuring to be happy what what goes well and keep that energy high so, so that whole combination it comes from a deeper place inside yourself so to be honest with yourself and then invite that mastermind, that more universal feel around us that helps us always to do it in a weekly meeting time, always the same, like clockwork. And with the 10 people, we made the clock work so that we could, like in 60 minutes, be round. And um, in the beginning, it was also like getting used to, or for some people, it was also stressful. If you just have like one minute to tell about okay, we'll, your we'll go into the one minute and just oh minute. good uh, okay yeah. but but here's here's the point is that you de I, th I believe you guys decided you were going to do the mastermind from January until the yeah. end of April right yeah so it was yes. a four month time frame that also coincided with earning the cruise out yeah. of your ten people five people actually did earn the cruise so uh, many people actually did reach their goals and tell us the reason that you decided to set your mastermind for 7 30 a.m. on Monday mornings why why did you decide on that time well it also it, it also simply has to do with when can we all meet uh, but to me personally I love the mornings and I know that is a very like fruitful time 
But it was a bit of a challenge to find a time that we could all really commit to. Well, so the we other decided... Good- the other good thing about 7.30 a.m. is usually you're not calling prospects at 7.30 a.m. Right. Yeah. So this is usually not really a, a big productive time as far as, right. uh, you know, going out and doing meetings or prospecting. So that's another reason why I think it was a great time. Also at the beginning of the week, Monday morning, you're starting yeah, out this it's, week. It's a really brilliant time. And we are, are all uh, having um, next masterminds and it is apparent that we're all doing it on Monday morning. So it's really the best time of the week, uh, so it seems. Okay, so before you even started your mastermind, every single person in the mastermind set their four-month goal and objective as well as their one-year goal and objective. Is that right? Yeah, that's right. Yeah, we really wanted to know from each other where do you want to be at the end of December this year and where do you want to be at the end of April. So we had short-time goals, long-time goals, and we could help each other to reach these goals. Okay, so not only where they wanted to be, but where they were willing to work to be, right? It's yeah. one thing to know it. It's, an, it's one thing to want it. It's another thing to be willing to put in the time and effort on a daily basis to really reach the goals, right? Yes. yes. Okay, so let's now go into how to run the meeting, how to run the mastermind meeting, because you had very definite kind of rules and a definite structure that helped make this process very successful. So, so I think this was the part that you started to talk about, um, Lisbeth. So maybe, so the next slide is the mastermind principles, but maybe you can just talk about what you did during this hour or it could have been a half hour, right? Yeah, this, let's talk about a mastermind of, of an hour with like eight to 10 people. In our case, it was 10. Um, um, I was the person who, um, who was initially dividing the time. And so it's, it's very concrete. So we decided, um, I think it was one minute for each participant to just reflect on, on the week that was passed. What was I so content about? What am I so grateful for? What went really well? That type of thing. And then everyone has his, his moment. And um, the intention of that part is that others can hear you express your gratitude, express your your um, your your uh, happiness about how well that went, and and what happens is that your the things that didn't go so well they just vanish. You know what stays is wow that was a great week, and hearing this from each other is helping us all up and keep keep the energy high, and the 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 next uh, chapter in in the mastermind would be what do you need for the coming week. Or what is what do you want? Is there anything what you find difficult? So um, uh, please uh, phrase your question of what you want or need, so that the whole mastermind, everyone there, but also that deeper sense of of mastermind can help you. And that is the part that if you're well prepared, you can shortly uh, pose your question: What do I need? And the rest in four minutes of the participants can just give heartfelt answers, just like that. No discussing, no debate, but just um, uh, giving, uh, responding to what you are asking. Very, very special um, uh, a chapter of the mastermind. Okay, beautiful. So a total of four minutes for each participant for their request, and that includes the answers that the rest of the mastermind gets. Right. Reine, can you talk about this concept of rotating the timekeeper and the energy keeper? First of all, what is an energy keeper and why do you rotate the timekeeper and the energy keeper? Yes, what, what Lisbeth and I really uh, take care about of inner team that everyone gets to, uh, to learn everything we do, like in the see everything, so we like to rotate. So, uh, Every week there was another timekeeper and the timekeeper only has to say stop when one minute is gone or when the four minutes is gone and everyone knows that. And the energy keeper was really uh, learning to keep the energy high. So if someone is complaining or someone is really uh, 
uh, get angry or something that the energy keeper is saying stop and telling them can you do this in another way can you tell this in another way so and in the beginning we really need i think the first three four weeks we needed that energy keeper but after that i think the energy keeper had not so much work to do because everyone was totally aware that you can express what you need and what you want and what is not so nice in a good way without draining and without letting the energy go. Okay. And that was helpful, really, really helpful, also as working as a team together. Okay, so you were telling me earlier that that carried over not just in the mastermind calls, but into their whole life, that people started becoming much more aware of keeping time and much more aware of keeping energy. Can you talk a little bit about that? Yes, it, we really found out that in everything we did after that, that it uh, um, came in our ABCs, in our kick of the week, uh, in everything we really felt and also in our personal, personal life, that we were much more focused, we really took care of our energy because we really felt it's such a valuable time we have and to do the best things in it and also to keep our energy high. And, and, and yeah, that is wonderful. And also when we have days together or planning bigger events, we really uh, say to each other uh, in the morning, when we start or in the evening, let's keep the energy high and everyone knows what we mean. Beautiful. I absolutely love that. So um, I don't know if we want to read these, but maybe we could. I don't know if Vilka would want to read them or you, uh, Lisbeth, the seven mastermind principles. Oh, I, I maybe, maybe Wilka and I could just do it as we always do. Okay. And, I, and uh, so Wilka, are you there? I can't see you at, at this moment. Can I, can I hear you? Yes, I'm here. Okay, <laughs> so let's do this together, girl. I okay. release myself to the myself mastermind, to mastermind because, because I'm strong, I'm strong when I have others, to, I have help others to help me. I believe the combined, I believe the combined intelligence, intelligence of the mastermind, mastermind creates a wisdom creates far, wisdom beyond, my far own. beyond my own. I understand, I understand that I will more I will easily more create easily positive create results positive in my life in when my I'm life, open to I'm looking at myself, at myself my problems, and my problems, opportunities, and opportunities from another point, point of view, I decide, I decide to, release to release my desire, my desire totally, totally in trust in to the mastermind, to the mastermind. And, I'm and I'm open to accepting, to accepting new, possibilities. new possibilities. I forgive I myself forgive for mistakes, for mistakes, I, have mistakes I have made. I also, I also forgive, forgive others, others who have hurt me in the past, in the past so, so I, I can, can move on into the future, future with, a with a clean slate. I ask the I mastermind, ask the mastermind to hear to what, hear I, really what I really want, my goals, my, goals, my, dreams, my dreams, my desires, and, my desires. and, I, hear and I hear my mastermind my partners, partners supporting me in my fulfillment. In my fulfillment. I know, I relax, know. And relax and accept, and accept. Believing, believing that the working power the working of the mastermind, of mastermind will respond to my every, every need. And I'm grateful, I'm grateful knowing this knowing is so. This is so. Thank you very much. I love the mastermind principles. So yeah. step number Thanks. six is to uh, evaluate results. So Rainey, after you had this four month mastermind, it was kind of your pilot mastermind. You were kind of testing it out and seeing if it was worthwhile, if it produced results. How did you evaluate results? What results did you find? And what did you decide to do from there? Yeah. <coughs> Of course, we had the results of seeing how many new pe uh, people came in, uh, how many volume was there every month, uh, how many people moved in ranks, uh, all these kinds of steps, how many people came into uh, the cruise, all these kinds of things, of course. But also at the end, we asked everyone to tell us what was the benefit for them? How did they feel after doing this? And all of the 10 really, really said, I'm so happy that we did this and I, we want to go on. There was no one who said, no, I didn't like it or no, I don't want to go on. So everyone wanted to go on. So we decided to see how can we benefit more from this in our whole team? What can we do? And we decided uh, with the people who were bronze and above that we want to 
go for a leadership mastermind together to really focus on leadership and how we can help the others. There were some who were still directors 700 and they wanted to stay together to really grow from everything they learned in those months and set new goals to move in rank and then join us when they are really uh, confident to join us as leaders. And then we had so many newbies, so many new people that uh, Carla, who was one of the People Sees the Silver now, uh, started a new um, mastermind group in the beginning with the help of Lisbeth, but now she's doing it on her own uh, with the newbies to help them to 300, 700 and bronze. So they all have to go, to go upwards. And then I started with my German team here for the first time because they heard that I did it and they wanted, they asked me, can we do this in Germany? So I started the mastermind with my German team now. So from one team, we have now four teams. So essentially it's duplicating, it's growing. Um, not everyone wants to be in a mastermind or start a mastermind group, but for some people, it can be a very uh, big support for them as they move forward in their uh, as, in growing their ASEA business. So um, here we are back from the slides. So um, Reine and Vilka and Lisbeth, how would you like to end this? What other comments do you have about the value of the mastermind before we say goodbye today? Um, I really would like, because I see there are some other people who are in a mastermind, did a mastermind, and uh, only to share in one sentence how it was for them to be in the mastermind, and still they are still in the mastermind. So I saw Mira, I don't know Mira if you're still there, but can you unmute yourself and share in one sentence how you benefited from the mastermind? Yes, I'm still here. All the way I think from it's, Australia. Thank you, Mira. Yes. Uh, I think it's the best thing that, that happened to me in uh, my ICA business since I started 18 months ago. Why do you think it's the best thing that happened to you in your ICA business? <sighs> because the synergy that happens and the commitment to go there every Monday and to prepare yourself for it and take the tools with you throughout the week and the universal energy. Like it, it appeared uh, after a few weeks that every week, the same theme came up with all of us. So like magic happened and I like magic. So I'm glad I'm in a new mastermind again. Beautiful. It's just, it's really, really good. Thanks. Beautiful. Thanks for being yes. with us. Thank you. And I also see uh, that uh, Germaine is there. So maybe Germaine, you can share in one sentence how you benefited from the mastermind, what you liked and how it helped you. Maybe one thing you want to share with us? It helped me to be uh, focused uh, uh, a longer period. So, uh, and the support and uh, the connection with each other and uh, what uh, Mira said, the synergy is uh, amazing. I like it. Thank you so much. And then the last one, our world executive Guido. Um, Glad to see you, Guido. Uh, maybe you want to share your uh, uh, thinking about our mastermind groups and you're still there and why? <coughs> yeah, thank you. Um, well, the best thing I, I experienced in this mastermind is, uh, is the magic that what, what Mira just said. That every, every time there's one item or one topic emerging, coming up, and it's always sort of connected with each other. So there's, there's always a sort of connected conversation and it brings me a very, very positive energy to start the week every Monday. Yeah, so, and, and for me, I, I really, really uh, am so happy that I uh, got to know them so much better, what, what they like, what they need, so, and, and that, uh, also, crossliners in our team really started to work together, help each other, and, and we really have the feeling to be one team together. It's a, it's a great way to keep in touch with your people on a regular basis. Um, so, you, you know, because you can't be calling 10 people every week, but you can be on a one hour mastermind with 10 people every week. Um, Vilka, what would you like to say before we close out here about the ma your mastermind experience? 
Um, well, what I want to share is that when I started with this, I was a little bit uh, not skeptical, but I was asking, what, what can this do? I didn't understand it, but I just jumped in. And uh, now I can say to anybody who really wants to influence um, themselves, or let's talk about myself, you know, my whole life is more happiness. I mean, I'm so focused on uh, the positive side, and it's not only about the Sia, it's, it's really in my whole life. And that, that's a great, great gift, really. So, sure. And when yeah. you change your energy, everything changes. That's beautiful, Vilka. Thank yeah, exactly. Thank you. So, Lisbeth and um, uh, Rainy, why don't we close out here, as well as Guido or Vilka? So I came to Europe a few months ago. We did an event near Amsterdam in Utrecht, and it was probably the most well-attended. Well, there were there were some great events. We had great events in in many cities, but but your your event did have a special energy, and I know that uh, your mastermind group planned and executed that event. So can you just talk a little bit about how you might use the mastermind when you're when you decide to plan events? Yeah, I, I think we all really learn to get focused and to uh, stay really focused also on time. So we had uh, really on that whole day, we had a timekeeper and we all decided together to be all the energy keepers. So really help each other and help the people. We decided that everyone who's coming in, we all are responsible to get them to a positive energy so if some guest is standing alone or you see some together so so we were all the energy keepers there and that really and, and we had another one um, a few weeks ago and and we did the same and it's yeah it's it's really for me also the feeling we, we do this all together nobody is there alone we, we do this together and people feel that we had a lot of good responses so that that's what i felt lisbeth maybe you want to say well i i think it's 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 all true what i'm hearing it's a magical process but what i'm i'm so so stunned about is that when there's like a big event you're doing together there is not even language necessary anymore we just look each other in the face or in the eyes and we know what is needed so this it, that is for me so magical so we really work together from the heart and words are not even important anymore and it stays with us. So it really changed a lot. I'm very proud and happy with what, what has all happened. Really beautiful. Thank you very much. So, um, th so Rainy, there's a question from the US and actually anybody can type in a question in the chat bar if you'd like to. Um, so Ellen from New York would like to know, how do we start a mastermind group? So essentially you make the decision and you find people who want to join you and you follow the process that you, that you did, right, Rainy? Yes, and, and I think in every language, if you Google on mastermind, you find the principle. Because when I started my German mastermind, I said, oh, I have to, I need someone to translate it, but I Googled on German and it's also there in German. So, and it's in Dutch there. So, so it, it's there if you Google on mastermind and uh, also how you uh, can set it up also with the time frame, everything. But if there are people who really want to know from us or whatever, yeah, Lisbeth gave her email address already. So we are really willing to help these people to setting it up. It, it's so, so the other thing I would say, Ellen, is contact your upline diamond. Um, in your case, that would be Pat or, Patty and Alex Manzano. And, uh, you know, they can, I'm sure, help you with it as well. Um, but great question. Thank you, Ellen. If anyone else has a question or a comment, you can either type it in or you can unmute your microphone and you can ask the question from... Uh, and the people, the mastermind people here can answer it. Does anybody have a question before we say goodbye? Okay, last chance to unmute yourself if you have a question. I think it was pretty clear. Okay, wonderful. Okay, thank you very, very much, uh, Rainy and Lisbeth and Vilka and Guido and 
uh, Mira, Mira, <laughs> Mira, I apologize. And um, I hope everyone benefited from that. I think it is a tool that can help your business move forward. Um, it was a pleasure to join you all on the big picture call today. Uh, people from Europe, people from Australia, people from the United States. Uh, look forward to seeing uh, many of you on the cruise. And I'm going to go ahead and unmute everybody so we can say goodbye to each other. Um, this was recorded, so I'm guessing that Morton Anderson is going to post it on Life Redux support. So then if you have other people that might like to start a mastermind with you, they can uh, watch the recording and essentially it lays out everything that you need to do. Okay, everybody. Everyone's on the Bye, everyone. Bye. 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 We only had one at the other store. Great to check out the counter. That might be kind of a nice idea once we start doing our treatments.